I'm Amy Dathlermo. I am the Dean and Rector of Trinity Episcopal Cathedral in downtown Little Rock, Arkansas. I've been ordained for 22 years. I've had the privilege of uh, serving parishes, both rural and urban, and ranging in size from the smallest congregations to some of the largest congregations. I have the privilege of being married to Jared, and we have three children, an adult daughter, a high school senior, and a middle school student. I love pizza and chocolate chip cookies. And I, uh, my husband and I love to be outdoors. He's a cyclist. I am an avid fiction reader and a knitter. I was drawn to the Diocese of West Missouri because I have some dear friends here who have a passion for Jesus and for the church. So then I was thrilled to discover in your profile such an authentic and vulnerable vision for those very things. Communities that are committed to the gospel and also to our shared baptismal covenant. And so those two things give me great excitement, both as a fellow Episcopalian doing the work out in the world, as well as a, a candidate to be the bishop here. I want to be in ministry with people who are seeking to serve Christ and their neighbor. The image that guides my vision for leadership from our lay leadership through to our bishop is the image of the shepherd in Psalm 23. It has been an image that I have hoped to embed within myself, a leader who is willing to walk with one other people, with their community, not only to green pastures and cool still waters and into the sheepfold, but also through those dark and dangerous and sometimes scary places. We know in the Episcopal Church that we have reason to feel anxious about what is happening in our communities. There is real decline and we wonder what will happen to us, what is next? And this image of the shepherd helps me remember that we serve the Good Shepherd, the one who is leading us, not only in those good days when things were all really good, also now when things are also good, even when we have reason to be anxious. That is the vision that I imagine I want for my bishop. And if I were elected the Bishop of West Missouri, it is what would guide me as I seek to join you in your faithful ministry. I bring with me a deep, deep love for our Lord. And I also bring a deep, deep love for the church and nothing would be, bring me greater joy than to join you as we seek to spread the gospel and also to serve our neighbors.